All right, wonderful people, welcome back. Tuesday, sit at home. Simon Epa disowns giving order. <laughs> Simon Epa don't disown order for the Tuesday, sit at home, where we say they happen. And I wonder the people where we say they uh, enforce this Tuesday, sit at home. Uh, some videos have been trending online, shooting everywhere, and a lot of people have lost their life. And our correspondents have gone out. Uh, in most of the southeast states, and um, we find out that uh, most of the states are under lock and key. And in the street of some places, uh, you hardly buy food or you even hardly buy other commodities uh, because uh, a lot of shops are closed, people who are selling things are closed. Uh, there is no movement, no transportation. And I would say, uh, first of all, uh, before going down to what Simon Epa is saying concerning the sit Tuesday sit at home uh, that uh, moved from Monday and entered Tuesday, uh, I was surprised that um, just because of this two day sit at home, uh, I stepped out to get some food and every other thing. I found that there was nowhere to find food. Now, the issue is. Um, some people are saying, yes, we want Biafra. Everybody wants Biafra. But on my own take, I will say that forgetting Biafra and whatever it is, at this point in time, and at this point of the economy, is not what should be gotten with the barrier of gun. Uh, if the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in exile, Marcus Amoneba and his team, have been going on diplomatic tour, diplomatic visiting to many many countries at that time they were in the washington dc uh, they were in the u.s house of congress and the rest of them they discussed with a lot of um uh, a lot of um well meaning a uh, united states house members who have interest in what concerns the indigenous people of biafra and i think it's high time uh, these people drop their arm and let this thing be followed diplomatically like every other nation because this is just two days and you can barely buy anything on the street you could imagine when it turns out to be a full blown war and of course you know that i'm in alibo here our people ndibo has become so much civilized that farming that they know ndibo with ndibo are no more farming in the olden days uh, when they are not DG, Binta did this one, did this one. It's because DG is a man who has, you know, who is a good farmer, has a big barn for his farmer, for his um, yams and the rest of them. Women in the old those days have their barn too. In the Igbo language, you call it unwa. That is where women save their cocoa yam. Ede. You know, she saved the one they will eat throughout the year, uh, both normal cocoa yam and the other Indian yam. She will also save the one that she's going to cultivate the next next year. So I'm telling you, my people, in Ali Igbo now, you can hardly find these things. And the most of the Igbo developing communities, these people have stole all their lands, and there is no way for farming again. And the culture of farming have left in the Igbo. Yes, Benue State is called the food basket of the nation. Benue State becoming the food basket of the nation is just yesterday. In the olden Igbo culture, Ndibo are known to be great farmers. For you to be measured, the way uh, the wealth of an Igbo man is being measured is, is either by how much uh, uh, the big farm you have, the two bars of farm you harvested for the year, your cows, your cattle, your sheep. These are what people will look at you and say, yes, this man is a rich man. And all these cultures, Ndibo have left all these cultures and these cultures are no more being cultivated again and i'm asking where are we going just for two days we can barely buy something to eat granite mineral uh, uh, uh cocoa yam yam everything is being imported into Igbo land is either they bring it from the north from the south south or somewhere else in the bonwenajo or getting a menu or guinea a menu. Meanwhile, uh, let's go down to the information of what Master Simon by saying today on today's sit at home. 
The Prime Minister of the Biafra uh, Republic government in exile has clarified that there is no seat at home on Tuesday, 22nd October 2024 in the Southeast. Daily Post reports that a voice note from an unknown person had ordered the people of Southeast to stay at home on Monday and Tuesday, October 20 and 21st, 2024. Development has grounded activities in the zone today. Earlier, the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB declared that it had no hand in the order, urging the people of the Southeast to ignore it. In a statement on Monday also, through his official Twitter handle, Eba stressed that there will be no sit at home on Tuesday apart from the observed the one observed on Monday to press home the demand for the release of Nam De Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He countered claims making the rounds that there will be a sit at home on Tuesday. According to him, he will be live on his account to tell Biafra why there is no sit at home on Tuesday. Eba has cleared the air on the rumored sit at home and promised to be live on X space to announce to the Biafrans that there is no sit at home on Tuesday, he said. Record that since the arrest of Nam De Kano by the Nigerian government in 2021, Mondays have remained grounded in the region. Uh, my people, I don't see as it happen. Uh, this will show you that um, it looks like some unscrupulous elements have hijacked this issue of sit at home. And this is um, one bad thing about the issue of insecurity. Uh, because at the initial starting of insecurity and then, um, you know, all these government officials using people causing insecurity just to expand the, the budget and the rest of them and the rest of them, a time comes when other, other uh, groups start hijacking it because they have seen how lucrative insecurity is. And in the Nigeria of today, in Alibo of today, insecurity is now becoming a lucrative business. Because number one, the government makes allocation for the procurement of weapons, both for the state and for the federal at large. And um, of course, you know that there are people who are benefiting from this. Even people who are selling the arm are benefiting. The people who are taking the money to go and buy the arm are benefiting because from there, they will also chocolate. But uh, Mazi Simon Eba has cleared the air that there is nothing like sit at home on Tuesday, but sit at home is currently going on because as CDB, a lot of things are happening. There is fire uh, on the mountain everywhere. The Director of State and the Global Family of the Indigenous People of Biafra announced with a heavy heart the unfortunate assassination of the IPOB Biafra Land National Coordinator Mazi Ikechuku Uguaya. Mazi Uguaya was assassinated by the soulless recruited agents around his residence on the 18th October 2024 in Abah, Abia State, a statement made available to newsmen by Comrade Emma Powerful Media and Publicity Secretary of the Indigenous People of Biafra. Welcome back. Uh, there is a little bit uh, trans uh, breaking in transmission. Uh, I was bringing you that um, information. But um, IPOB family, uh, they are mourning uh, one of their members who passed away, uh, who was assassinated. And the people who carry out that assassination are yet to be known. Mm, mm. That is the only thing I can say uh, because a lot of things. Are happening now in the land uh, this is the issue of insecurity is now going from a uh, low level to the higher level from the smaller level uh, to the bigger level and i would say that it's high time the government look into this thing because um the minister uh, is not to give um a chimp pies in a cup but the issue is are you are you going to be able to collect the cup back and that is what is happening in the south southeast now uh, South East have actually allowed insecurity, but the question is, are they going to be able to cop this insecurity? Are they going to be able to bring back this issue of insecurity and make sure that everything goes down? Meanwhile, still remember that you are still with your one and only. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, 
please kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news drop you go be the first we'll collect them thank you for listening god bless you